Okay, hi. Um, this is episode 26 of Staying Connected. Um, it's like almost 8 o'clock at night. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys, like really straight up real. Um, it's not been a good day for me. And I almost didn't post a video today because I'm trying to send out all these positive vibes and keep people motivated. And it, it, it just... It came to a point where I went, you know what, it's okay that I'm a mess today, it's okay that things are not good, I, um, it, it's just, it's 8 o'clock at night, and I, here I am, no makeup, my hair's a disaster, and I didn't freshen up or try to make myself look pretty for you guys, and put on a bright, happy smile, because today has sucked. And I figured I'd share with you a little bit and maybe just pray and call it a day today. But, you know, some of you may or may not know that I've been dealing with some health issues pre the quarantine. I've had some problems with my kidneys and I'm doing really well health wise. But today was not a good day health wise because unfortunately I'm taking some very extreme medications mostly prednisone and some of you guys may understand that and some of you may not that prednisone can kind of sort of make you a crazy person and I ended up getting into a fight with my sister today I accomplished nothing on my to-do list and why I mean nothing nothing I barely got out of bed today and <laughs> it wasn't good and that's what I'm here to share because I want you all to know that I am here for you and I am praying for you and I'm wanting to bring some positivity to everyday life, but I also want to be real with you. And parents out there, I know there's a lot of parents who are having difficulties and you can't do things like I do because I don't have kids here. So you're, you're continuing to put on the bright, shiny face and kids, <laughs> there are some days where you are crazy. And your parents have to put up with you. And today, I am 30 years old. And today, my mother had to put up with me being a wackadoodle crazy person. And she is amazing for that. And we just have to be so thankful for the family that we have around us that puts up with us on these bad days. Because the bad days are going to happen. And, you know, I, I, I will be honest. I completely went, you know what, I can't be positive today. There's just not in me. So I'm just not going to post a video. And, and as the afternoon went by and as things went bad and things got worse and I sat and had dinner with my family, I went, you know what, maybe I should. Maybe I should just be raw and be honest with you guys and let you know that not all the days are sunshine and rainbows. Not all the days are boring blondness. I may not have done anything, but at least I, you know, didn't want to murder my sister. And, and, and I don't want to bring anybody's day down. I don't want to come to your end of the day. You're like, oh, Caitlin finally posted her video. Let's watch it. And you start watching it and you go, ah, but it's honesty. And that's all I've got for you. I've got the raw emotion that I can share with you and the understanding that <laughs> we don't have to make every day positive, but we also don't let, have to let the bad days affect the good days because I am going to finish this video, take a shower, have some tea, go to bed, wake up tomorrow, and hope everything's all better. And that's all I got for you. Um, now, I would like to include some sort of daily challenge, but our day is almost over, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep it short and simple with the challenge today. And that's today's daily challenge is to think of one thing to do better tomorrow. One thing you did today that you can do better tomorrow, and it can be a little thing. So for me, my one thing for tomorrow, I. <laughs> I'm going to do something. I mean, like, it's not, I, I am not going to spend my day tomorrow laying in bed, letting my emotions overpower me. And that's it. 
even if all I do is end up getting up and sitting at the kitchen table and, and, and watching TV, not in my bed, that's what I plan to do tomorrow because you've got to find the one thing to make tomorrow better. So that's today's daily challenge. Find one thing to make tomorrow better. And tell someone about it. But you don't have to. And, um, yeah, and, and just a little side note to all of you kids out there who may or may not be watching. And maybe these videos aren't really reaching the kids because, you know, I'm. they don't enjoy them. And I get that. But if it's reaching you parents, great. And to all you kids out there of the Palisadro Church, know that I miss you and I love you. And I cannot wait until we eventually get back into our church so I can see and hug all of you because I will be coming for the hugs. Um, yeah, so why don't we close by praying together? Because honestly, that is one of the best part of my days is being able to pray with you guys. And it's really, really helped me with my ability to pray in public. Maybe next time I'm in a large group and someone turns to me and asks me to pray, I won't have a panic attack about it because I pray every day with you guys. And that is so powerful to me. You have no clue. So um, we're going to fold our hands, close our eyes, and just, dear Lord, oh, you know the bad days. You know the good days. You know the... Uh, ups and downs and whichever ways we go and we just ask that you please be with us be with us on the good days but especially be with us on the bad days because when we are trapped and don't feel like we can get out it just makes the bad so much worse and I just ask that you be with every parent who might be watching this every kid every church member any person out there who's like this is what I feel today and you know, I'm just not having a good day because we need you. We need you more than anything. In your blessed name, amen. Okay, that's it for today. Bye.